In today's video, I want to talk about a cool new product coming out from Daikin. I sold Daikin for many years. I now have a really close relationship with them, working on multiple projects. And of course, they sponsored a lot of our content here on the channel. But one of the things that is amazing to me is they continue to come out with such cool innovations, products. They just keep on. They just keep coming. And this is a great example of that. Check out this interview I had with one of their top executives, Jim Cahill, who's in charge of a lot of their IoT solutions. This new feature they're calling quality install. I think it's a game changer. Check it out. What's quality install and, and what's the, the dream here? Quality install is a digital assistant for an installer putting in a residential HVAC system. What it does is provide step-by-step -step guidance in key areas of the installation and it provides feedback to the installer on how uh, certain aspects of the installation are done to ensure that it's done properly. And at the end of the entire process, it generates documentation for both the dealer as a record of how that system was set up and performing on the day of installation. And it also provides a record for the homeowner so that they know that their system was properly installed and they've got that record uh, again from day of install. It may be a little bit of a stretch to say this is going to make the installer's job easier, but I don't think it's a stretch to say the contractors that were already doing everything properly and reading the entire manual and going through the entire commissioning of a system before starting it up and doing everything properly, maybe it will make their job a little easier. Maybe. Yeah, absolutely. The thing you have to consider is, I mean, our systems are, are highly configurable. They get installed in Sarasota, Florida, and they get installed in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And it's not hard to imagine that the, the settings that a system may want in Sarasota is different than what you would want in Minneapolis. What this process does is it allows an installer to walk through that commissioning or that setup process of the system and ensure that for the area that they're doing and installing, that it goes as smoothly as possible. We've introduced the concept of a system profile. Now, a system profile is a record of all the settings that can be configured on a system. And it allows a dealer installer, while they're on site, rather than having to go to a thermostat and navigate a number of menus and submenus, to set each one of those individual settings with the click of a finger, if they have a, a saved profile, it allows them to apply all of those settings. The person on site, whether they're you know a veteran or relatively new to the company and new to working on our equipment, it means they have a way to ensure that that installation and all the settings are done the way the company wants them to be set up and applied. But the other thing that is, we think very exciting is for what we call climate optimized profiles. So if you take that same concept of a profile, which is a number of saved settings, we've configured and set up profiles for dealers to use. So this is not available in all climate zones at this point in time, but for some climate zones today, we have climate optimized profiles that will help a dealer go into a home and say, hey, this climate optimized profile is, for instance, for a hot, humid climate. I can apply this profile with the click of a button. That system gets configured to properly run in a wet, humid climate. The installation takes less time. So the people who are in your home setting that up have to be there for less time. And it also ensures that the, the settings are proper for what your home and your geographic region need. I've even said in videos don't listen to me. Don't listen to to something you've read on the internet because our country is very unique in that you've got the Pacific Northwest, you've got the Southeast, you've got the desert, you've got the cold, you've got the high elevation states, you've got so many different ways of doing things and just setting up a system for each area of the of the country it's not cookie cutter it's not the same i wanted to point that out but i also just want to ask when you say optimize it for that area or climate are we talking about making that system run as efficient as possible for that climate or remove the most humidity as possible for that climate yes and yes i mean they, when we're talking wet and humid climates that is what we're saying we're saying we as Daikin know because of the systems that are connected and how the settings can be configured that there's a dehumidification profile that's 
can be set within our system that is more optimal to remove moisture. There are you know, a number of settings that can be tweaked that will ensure that that system runs optimally to provide comfort and efficiency to the to the end user, ultimately the homeowner. All quality install does is it streamlines the process for them and creates a repeatable process that has you know the ability for somebody within the business to see, yes, everything was done. It essentially says, hey, we're going to connect this piece of equipment. The equipment has sensors in it and can send data to Daikin's cloud. Daikin's cloud will then go ahead and validate that and track all of those things. So it's no longer, hey, somebody you know forgot to do this when they were on site and are trying to remember back what happened or a mistake is made, something gets transposed. Those things can happen if you're doing any manual process. And so it's just that, that ability to have that connected to the cloud um, that allows that sort of validity and, and, and transparency to be there. You've got the ability to go in and set that system up. And as a person who set up many of these systems, you know that you're going through and you're setting the same settings again and again and again at each one of those installs. And so people who have that, that expertise and that knowledge, quality install actually allows dealers to save their own profiles. So a contractor can go through, create their own profile and say, this is how I set it up. So even if there isn't necessarily a climate optimized profile in, in that contractor's region or microclimate, they have the ability to say, that's fine. I know how I set these up. This is how I want every system set up and configured. And then they've got the way to track it because, you know, their guys go in, they, they push the button and they do it or they don't, but they've got the visibility. Hey, this is what the report said. So we've made those changes or you obviously with cloud services, which we talked about on a, a different podcast a contractor could go back without even having to interrupt the homeowner. If something was missed or wasn't done properly, they could just remotely access that system once the homeowner gives them permission and they can make those changes. I love it. Please note, Daikin has sponsored some of the content on our YouTube channel. I want to paint almost a picture here in that we've got folks that join our industry, so they're learning, right? So they're installing systems and maybe they don't know everything yet. Some folks that maybe, maybe they read the instructions and maybe they misinterpreted something, you know, that happens possibly. You've got new refrigerants coming out. So maybe things are a little different there. And you were telling me about this next feature kind of helps eliminate all of that. It kind of helps them through the process of this. Yeah, absolutely. So there's really the concept of charge verification after an install team applies a profile um, or those system settings and configurations, they start this test mode, which ensures that the system's ready to take additional refrigerant and, and, and the process will move forward in terms of the installation. We help the installer calculate the amount of trim charge or additional charge that's needed for that system. And there's a very simple interface for them to actually calculate that based on the line set length and size. They're told by the quality install process in the app, you need to add three ounces or it could be a pound and three ounces. But whatever that is, we serve that up. And then once they've actually added that refrigerant charge to the system, the system then goes into a validation process where we actually verify that the charge uh, was added correctly. And the way we do that is by measuring a value called subcooling. Now with subcooling, we can tell exactly where that system's running uh, and how efficiently. And so there's a target subcooling for every every system that's out there. And it does fluctuate based on tonnage and the exact type of system. But what we can do, because we can see exactly how that system's running and we know what it is, we know if that's charged properly. And we can provide validation of that. And then at the end of the installation, then we put that onto the commissioning report that's available for the dealer and give the thumbs up and the the check mark for the homeowner letting them know that that's been done. Yeah, I think ultimately, as someone that's installed these before, we're talking about when I install a system, I'm about to start it up. I want to make sure the refrigerant's right. I read the instructions. The instructions will say, hey, if you've got this much line set length, you need to do this kind of math. And you need to figure out how much refrigerant needs to be added. If I'm thinking of this right, this kind of helps with all of that. I'm not saying it eliminates the need to read the instructions, but on this particular point, it's at least going to assist the contractor to make sure it's right. Is that right? 
Yeah, it, it is. Absolutely. They still need to read the instructions. But what it does is rather than having to do the, the math, on that, because you're right, it's a it's a decimal value. Typically, it takes all of that into account, and makes it a very easy uh, to input form for the contractor to use on site. So the calculation is done, and and the the thing that they have to do is input the the values in terms of the line set details. I just remember some of the some of the installs, and you're sitting there trying to calculate things, right? It says for every five feet you do this, and this kind of just kind of helps with some of that. You know, for for a guy like me, maybe I'm not so good at math, right? And it kind of helps with that. Well, there is, yeah. I mean, in those calculations, there is math. It's you know, what's your linear run? What's your vertical run? How many elbows do you have? There's there's things in there that need to be calculated, and and with this, we just make it simple, and then that validation that the charge is where it needs to be. Just it, it's a great thing. It's about making sure that the people who invest and purchase our products get that great experience, you know, through the whole life cycle of that product. So that's it guys. Let me know down in the comment section, what your thoughts are on this awesome new feature. If you like this video, I think you'll like this one even more. It's where I share some of the biggest secrets about diagnosing HVAC. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.